Professor Yu, thanks very much for joining us. Let me start by asking you, what's your take on the transition in North Korea now? Uh, Kim Jong-il died last December. Kim Jong-un has had a number of months to try and consolidate his position. What's your sense of how it's going? Well, I, I think Kim Jong-il's uh, uh, death is uh, very uh, happened uh, suddenly, even though his health was not good, and uh, almost everyone uh, just uh, uh, cautious about what uh, happened to his uh, health. Uh, and therefore, Kim Jong-un's uh, preparation for becoming a sole leader in North Korea is uh, much uh, earlier than we had expected. And he was uh, officially uh, named uh, 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 a successor to uh, his father, Kim Jong-il, in uh, 2010, uh, September. And therefore, it's just uh, one year and a half. But uh, because of uh, his father's sudden death, Kim Jong-un uh, need more time to become a sole leader because he has to uh, decide everything. Uh, and he uh, uh, was, uh, he has to uh, lead uh, the country as his father and grandfather has done. And uh, well, he, his aunt, uh, Kim jong hee I think she is a, uh, playing a major role to protect and to support his nephew, but uh, it's not enough for him and to North Korea, for North Korea to be, a, become a, a normal state mm -hmm. at this moment. Even though he uh, completed his uh, uh, position in major field, like party, and government, and military as the uh, supreme leader, but uh, it's not enough for him. He has never worked for the party itself. To what extent do you think Kim Jong-un is really in charge now? Some people talk about, uh, you use the description that, that he's reigning rather than ruling. Well, it, it's possible. Sometimes uh, in, the, in the past, uh, we heard about uh, Kim Jong-un's uh, plan to, to learn from the, uh, the kingdom like uh, Thailand or the British uh, Empire. Uh, but uh, I, I think North Korean system, North Korean totalitarian system, is a, a, a quite unique one. And uh, without the supreme leader, North Korean cannot be uh, controlled. And therefore, even though they feel that uh, the, the leader with the, a, a kind of a limited power or limited influence, but it's uh, not possible. Once he became the leader, he has to follow what he has. Uh, his father and his grandfather had, uh, had created. One of the interesting sort of descriptions that I've read of how the leadership at the top works in North Korea um, is that Kim Il-sung really was an all-powerful ruler, but that Kim Jong-il presided over uh, the different institutions, the military, the party, the government, and kind of mediated their different interests and so forth. Um, to what extent do you think Kim Jong-un is now in a similar position that he can't just drive everything his own way but has to mediate different and often competing uh, interests of different institutions in the North? Well, I think uh, uh, your uh, description or uh, analysis is very uh, uh, accurate because Kim Il-sung was a creator of the regime in North Korea and uh, therefore he could do everything uh, uh, that uh, he really uh, wanted and uh, he could uh, realize or understand everything. And he, therefore, he could uh, rely upon the collective uh, leadership through the, from the bottom to the top. And he uh, ma manipulated the, the party system quite well. But uh, Kim Jong-il is a little bit different because uh, he is not the creator. He was uh, just a hereditary or successor. And therefore, he could follow what he father had created, and he also worked for uh, the older generation. And therefore, he uh, is quite uh, relied upon uh, his royal, uh, uh, royal supporters in the party and in the military and in, in the government also. And therefore, uh, Kim Jong-il was in the center, and he directly uh, gave order to the person he needed to get uh, information or uh, he has to uh, uh, give order. And uh, therefore, the system is quite different. Kim Jong-un system is not a collective one. It's kind of totalitarian uh, system. And uh, Kim Jong-il 
in, in, in that sense, Kim Jong-un is more powerful and more brutal in some sense. And Kim Jong-un, he wanted to follow his grandfather because his figure and his style is very much similar to his grandfather. And he might feel much comfortable to what his grandfather has done for their people or to the system. However, the system was created by his father. It's, it's very uh, uh, comfortable for Kim Jong-il to control. And therefore, I think there is some kind of a, a, a difference and some gaps uh, between uh, Kim Jong-il's uh, idea and Kim Jong-un's attitude. And that's the uh, uh, fundamental problem for uh, North Korea under Kim Jong-un's leadership. Do you think Kim Jong-un really is in a position to sort of do what he wants to, to ram through the policies that he wants? Well, uh, I, I think she could uh, uh, because uh, the system could support and probably Kim Jong-il, even though he uh, couldn't expect that he could leave uh, such a, a short time. But anyhow, he uh, tried to uh, uh, make some preparation for his son to, to follow what he had uh, built up in, in, in North Korea. Uh, and because of uh, the lack of time for him to, to prepare, Kim Jong-un's uh, uh, leadership or Kim Jong-un's uh, system uh, couldn't be uh, 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 adjusted to what his father had made. Mm -hmm. And therefore, I think uh, Kim Jong-un had no chance to, to look into the uh, uh, operation within the party. Only uh, uh, the, the title or, or job that he had uh, uh, comfortable with is that in the military, in some sense, and therefore, uh, Kim, Kim Jong-il uh, created a new position within the uh, uh, Central Committee for Military Affairs in the party. And vice chairman is the only title, official title, uh, when uh, Kim Jong-il died. And therefore, I think uh, Kim Jong-un had no chance to, to, to learn how to lead, how to control, and how to uh, order in the uh, party or in, even in the uh, government. There's one school of thought among people who watch North Korea that believes that uh, a collapse is definitely on the cards, that the country's internal problems are so acute, the potential for instability is so high, that it's going to come crashing down. What's your own sense of the prospects for some kind of collapse? I think the system is uh, quite strong because the, uh, uh, as uh, uh, Kim Il-sung and Kim Jong-il uh, uh, expected to, to have in, in North Korea, that means that the politics of the military first. And the military is the most powerful and well-organized uh, system or institute in North Korea. And therefore, I think the, the North Korean uh, system could be protected from uh, outside uh, uh, aggression or uh, invasion. Uh, well, it, it doesn't uh, matter whether they uh, uh, had the, uh, uh, nuclear weapons or not. But uh, Kim Jong-un uh, now is relied up, heavily relied upon his end. The Kim Kyung Hee uh, it seems to me that uh, he she is in charge of the uh, uh, the party's most powerful uh, uh, bureau, that is the organization and guidance bureau, which was done well, occupied by Kim Jong Il when he, he died, and therefore, uh, if uh, uh, once Kim Kyung Hee, uh, Kim Jong Un's aunt, is uh, uh, healthy enough to support uh, his uh, uh, nephew Kim Jong Un. In, in, in the party and in the military then, I think the, the system could be uh, resilient and could be uh, uh, give some time for Kim Jong-un to learn more about how to become a, a sole leader in, in charge of the party and military and government. But uh, uh, Kim Jong-un says it's not uh, good enough. Mm -hmm. uh, according to some observers who uh, had a chance to uh, see her, in, 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 in a short uh, uh, distance or uh, closely. Mm -hmm. And therefore, if Kim Kyung hee couldn't uh, work or couldn't help uh, him, then I think the system will be in, in real uh, uh, crisis or dangers or instability. Mm -hmm. up, till, um, up until then, I think the system could be uh, uh, protected right. or maintained. In, in the late spring of this year, there were a couple of very intriguing statements attributed to Kim Jong-un. Uh, in one, he was quoted as saying it was time for 
the North Korean, pe North Korean people to no longer have to tighten their belts. And then there was a report of a visit he made to the Manyongde Fun Park where he talked about the need to remove outdated thinking from the heads of officials and get them to change their old ways of doing things. What do you make of that? Well, I, I think Kim Jong-un has some experience in uh, living in, in Switzerland. And uh, probably he could uh, watch uh, uh, Western TVs or movies. And uh, compared to his father, he could say that uh, uh, there should be uh, some changes uh, to uh, f toward a, a better well, opening. Uh, but I think uh, Kim Jong-il also uh, was aware, fully aware of the situation. But he also understood the system itself. And therefore, he couldn't uh, directly, well, she tr he didn't try to, to change the system. But Kim Jong-un, lack of uh, experience, lack of understanding of the whole system, he can just uh, say what he uh, had in mind. And I think that, it, well, at the beginning, they might follow what uh, the new leader uh, had uh, uh, ordered. But, uh, well, I if they followed all his orders, then the system couldn't, uh, couldn't be uh, maintained uh, as they ha uh, uh, planned. Do you see any realistic prospect of meaningful economic reforms in North Korea? Well, I, I think th th there would be no fundamental uh, uh, changes or uh, uh, reforms because they, ha they already mentioned that they would maintain the status of uh, a nuclear uh, power uh, state. Well, th I, I, I don't think they could uh, uh, give up uh, their nuclear weapons uh, until they fully confident in their own uh, system. Well, uh, Kim Jong-un is now just uh, 28, 29 years old. I think it, 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 he might need at least five to 10 years. Then, without uh, giving up the nuclear weapons, the sanctions against uh, North Korea couldn't be lifted. Then, I think even though North Korea, well, Kim Jong-un uh, want uh, to change and to bring more uh, investment from outside, then I think no international community could uh, support uh, Kim Jong-un and uh, North Korea. Do you see these economic zones that the North Koreans have set up or talking about setting up with the Chinese as having any meaningful impact on the country's economic direction or policies? Well, actually, last year, last April, I uh, uh, visited uh, Dandung, the, the western side, to see the uh, Chinese uh, uh, project and the possibility or uh, whether uh, North Korean would accept uh, uh, what the Chinese uh, business or local government had uh, demanded to North Korea. And uh, my observation is that it's, it's very negative. Mm -hmm. But on the other hand, the eastern side, Nasan Special Economic Zone, well, it's a Chinese uh, national interest. So I think uh, China could uh, uh, spend or to invest uh, whatever uh, North Korean uh, uh, demanded or whatever the, the, the regulation uh, would be uh, mm -hmm. to, uh, to maintain the, the system or to, to the cooperation, economic cooperation. Mm -hmm. And therefore, uh, Chinese would uh, uh, make uh, or would use uh, those ports it's a kind of access to the East Sea. It's not a uh, commercial uh, uh, 100%. It's kind of political and, uh, and military uh, goals. And therefore, I think it could be maintained. And North Koreans, even though they think that uh, exchanges and cooperation with China would help for their economic uh, uh, progress or development, but I think the Pyongyang, well, the, the bureaucrat in, in, inside North Korea didn't have any long-term project, long-term plan to use that experience to, to develop their own economy. So I think it's very limited. Even though North Korean could get some hard currency to buy or to use, to build Pyongyang or whatever uh, luxurious items that they need, but uh, I think it's very, very uh, uh, limited. And therefore, the we uh, Western side, Chinese had uh, uh, less uh, national interest or strategic interest and uh, North Korean didn't provide any incentive, motivation for uh, Chinese businessmen and local government to invest. And therefore, I think it's very difficult 
to see a, a progress uh, in that area. That's North Korea's uh, fundamental uh, dilemma, uh, 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 excluding the nuclear issues in North Korea. What's your take on China's general approach to North Korea? It seems clear the Chinese don't like the cult of personality. They'd like to see the North Koreans adopt Chinese-style economic reforms. And yet, at the same time, uh, the evidence suggests that the Chinese are prepared to support North Korea as long as the North doesn't basically start a war that Beijing will stick by them and help them uh, in whatever ways it can. Well, I think China's uh, main interest, or the major uh, uh, concern, is that uh, uh, order and peace in that region, and therefore they they need uh, North Korean regime uh, in Pyongyang could uh, maintain its uh, influence, and uh, uh, the government government should uh, uh, be uh, operated as normal, and therefore they will provide uh, any materials uh, that Pyongyang need. Uh, and uh, I think that's the, the uh, priority number one for Chinese uh, uh, calculation in dealing with North Korea. And the second one is that they need a communist country neighboring to, to, uh, to China. Well, China is now a, had a, a 14 at least uh, different countries uh, bordered with uh, China. And the, this area is very uh, critical for them. And therefore, they need to, to the North Korea to be maintained as a communist country. But they, well, the, the best option for them is to see North Korea to be uh, following uh, Chinese model and the successful communist uh, countries or North Korean socialism, whatever. But uh, they realize that it's not possible under uh, these circumstances. And therefore, they, they just uh, uh, satisfy with the, the current uh, situation. They provide a little economic incentive, and they provide political and diplomatic or military uh, protection against uh, from outside influence against North Korea. One of the interesting things now is that basically all of North Korea's few friends around the world are in the middle of some kind of change. It's not just Vietnam or even in China, but you've got Cuba and you've got Burma. Could that possibly have some impact in the way the North Koreans operate uh, internally? I think it, it, it gave some impact. Well, uh, last month I met, uh, well, actually, I ha uh, was invited to, to give lectures to uh, uh, Geneva uh, Center for Se uh, S uh, Security uh, Policy. There were two uh, North Korean uh, military officers. They are spending three months there. And I uh, gave a lecture about uh, North Korean uh, political uh, transition, uh, uh, along with a uh, French uh, uh, expert on that issue altogether. She mentioned about the collapse. And those two, two young uh, uh, military officers, loyal to the system, they had, they had to listen. And all the participant members, 55 uh, people or students uh, coming from different countries, they are uh, diplomats or uh, public officers or, or even uh, military officers, uh, seniors. And they could uh, discuss all the things, just like we are discussing among uh, ourselves. And they, well, they uh, asked to give them a uh, chance to, to respond, uh, but it's very limited. And they realized that the situation has been changed surrounding North Korea, surrounding the Korean Peninsula. And the next day, I talk about uh, uh, unification issues. And they didn't uh, make any uh, response to, to my uh, uh, lectures then. They just listened. And uh, I think it's, uh, it, it, they are royal uh, people. They enjoyed all the privileges, and they would become uh, maybe a general without any uh, problems because uh, they are uh, selected among you know, one million <laughs> officers to spend some outside. They, they confident or trusted uh, uh, officers, but uh, they uh, could listen, and maybe they can e examine or the de agent. Maybe they would be uh, in, in in some cases to be re-educated when they. Uh, uh, going back to, to North Korea. But I, I think uh, it's very important to realize that South, well, if South Koreans are only a person who are talking about changes or reform in North Korea, then they might worry the, or they do not, uh, they had a doubt about the, the intention of, of such kind of advice. But uh, all the countries except North Korea.
are same, almost uh, exactly the same. Well, there are some differences, or some some uh, dif uh, different nuances, but uh, the main uh, idea or main uh, point is almost the same: to reform and open. That there is no other uh, options for them to survive or to make progress. There's an election coming up later this year in South Korea. To what extent do you think there's a danger that the North Koreans might move from just rhetorical threats to actually taking some kind of provocative action in the hope of influencing uh, the outcome of the election? For example, trying to scare the South Korean people into voting for a progressive candidate for president on the grounds that a conservative candidate uh, will only produce more tension and potential conflict with the North. Well, I think it's, it's possible uh, based upon the North Korean's uh, uh, previous uh, actions or uh, records, uh, whenever they uh, uh, observe or expect uh, some ch uh, leadership changes or government changes in South Korea or in, in the United States, uh, they are trying to, to test uh, and they try to, to uh, get a, a better position in dealing with the future uh, uh, government or uh, future ruling uh, groups. And therefore, this year, they are trying to, at the beginning of uh, uh, this year, they are uh, trying to uh, utilize uh, the both elections in, in South Korea. But uh, uh, opposing uh, contrast to their expectation, the, this uh, election uh, was uh, done uh, by the uh, winning of the conservative parties. And it's a kind of a, a reality. The North Koreans, all tactics were all uh, limited uh, access to South Korean uh, politics, they couldn't achieve what they really uh, wanted. And therefore, uh, for the presidential election, the more uh, important one, they already mentioned that they would uh, uh, talk all the details of uh, South Korean uh, political leaders had done in North Korea. And uh, they, they mentioned, actually, that Park Geun-hye visited and met uh, Kim Jong-il uh, uh, almost 10 years ago and the leading uh, politician or candidate in ruling and the opposition party, they are saying that the, once they uh, uh, reveal all the uh, uh, t uh, talks or uh, behavior in North Korea, then there would be a shocking uh, si situation could happen in South Korea. They probably are confident about their uh, intention or their uh, argument, but uh, well, it's not uh, uh, possible anymore. So that's the situation. Even though they want it or expect, to to make a, a, a influence, major influence, and by a provo provocative actions or provocative words, but uh, I think it's uh, well. South Koreans are already well uh, uh, prepared or well adjusted to such uh, old tactics from North. Can you spell out a little bit what what's your understanding of the approach to North Korea of the different? political camps here in South Korea and, and what are the potential implications, regardless of who wins the election, in terms of future South Korean dealings with the North? Well, uh, actually, the, the, the uh, uh, interesting things uh, among uh, South Korean uh, politicians or parties was that even though the North Korean issues or unification issue is one of the hot uh, items or hot uh, policy agendas here in, in South Korea, but they realize that it is not uh, necessarily uh, uh, supportive for getting a uh, vote uh, among uh, uh, population. So they are always try to, to downsize uh, the inter-Korean relations or North Korean policy. They are always emphasizing the, the economic issues or education issues, welfare issues. But uh, because of the such a, 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 a do reverse uh, after the uh, general election, uh, all the uh, uh, candidates for presidential election, they revitalize the, the, the ideas or policy uh, approaches to deal with North Korea. So I think it's, it's very uh, 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 positive for uh, getting a better chance to improve the relations or to maintain peace and stability uh, even uh, prior to the election. Well, one of the uh, difficult, one of the problems that we had uh, under uh, Lee Myung-bak government is that uh, they didn't uh, prepare uh, quite well prior to the election. Because they, it, it's quite natural or quite uh, rational for any uh, candidate 
not to pay much attention to such uh, delicate issues, mm -hmm. which couldn't get uh, enough vote. And but uh, now uh, the, all the camps, all the parties, are trying to to uh, carefully uh, watch it, the the populations, uh, uh, opinions, or the reaction from the outside. And I think it's, uh, it's much better to have more time to prepare. Right. What's your assessment of Park Geun Hee's view of North Korea? I've heard some people speculate: could she be the South Korean Nixon as a conservative who could make a breakthrough with the North in a way that a progressive couldn't? Well, but we, uh, actually, it's uh, 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 it's too early. But uh, we had the almost uh, uh, nothing to to get access to what uh, Bakune had in mind, mm -hmm. except the, her articles in in foreign affairs uh, at the, at about the, to build uh, confidence. Well, that's that's very uh, simple and uh, it kind of common sense. But uh, she didn't. Well, uh, her or camp didn't. Uh, uh, manipulate or elaborate mm -hmm. how to uh, achieve the confidence building mm -hmm. with North Korean leaders. So I think it, it's too early for her to become a, a, a very uh, progressive, conservative leader. Well, I, I think she is a, a very smart uh, politician to, to understand the political dynamic, not just in, in South Korea but in the, among the neighboring uh, states. So we could expect that uh, she might, if she spend more time and uh, if she uh, concentrate on those issues, then I think the situation could be much better. Well, it's exactly the same to other uh, politicians in the opposition party too. I'd like to ask what you make of the Obama administration's strategy towards North Korea. Uh, for a long time, the strategy was really one of malign neglect, essentially not doing anything. Then they tried to cut a deal, the February 29th agreement, uh, which fell apart. Uh, so what's your assessment of how the Obama administration has done in its dealings with the North? Well, I, I think there are a couple of things that uh, uh, Obama, President Obama had to, to pay attention, uh, except the North Korean or the Korean Peninsula, because uh, he has to deal with the the issues in in uh, Mid Middle East or Afghanistan, and also he has to uh, uh, resolve the issues uh, between China and the U.S. It's very critical and important issues, and uh, he always uh, think that the Korean issues or North Korean issues will be uh, followed by uh, the big deal between China and, and the U.S. But it is not a simple or an easy. Uh, uh, task for him. And also, uh, uh, Obama administration uh, had uh, no attention to have a major figures in dealing with uh, uh, North Korean issues or nuclear issues compared to the previous regime like uh, Gallucci or the, the Christopher Hill. They are uh, excellent person who had uh, great experience and also they could uh, deal with. But under uh, uh, Obama administration, well, because of the environment, because of the, the uh, diverse, diversity of uh, uh, political interest, uh, they, well, he couldn't uh, put someone in charge of the whole or important issues in dealing with North Korea. So I, I uh, understood that uh, situation, but uh, compared to the previous regime in the U.S., Obama administration had, uh, just like uh, the Lee the Myung-bak government has done on uh, the Korean Peninsula. But the relationship between the two, two governments. Well, actually, the, the Lee myung government is conservative, and Obama is and, you know, it's a democratic party. So, but the, the matching is almost perfect. So uh, it's very curious. We've got a situation now where diplomacy is effectively at a standstill. And what this seems to mean is that there is nothing to constrain North Korea from continuing to develop nuclear weapons uh, and moving in a direction that the U.S. and South Korea uh, don't want to see. Do you have any thoughts about, about what this means, where this is going, and, and what are the potential implications? Well, I, I think uh, we had a, a, a kind of multiple, uh, uh, multiple uh, access or multiple channels to be operating in dealing with North Korean issues, such as we, we need to, to manage the nuclear issue at the top. And we have to prevent any military or provocation 
uh, in regional areas uh, with the cooperation of China and Russia all together. And also, we have to utilize, we have a very good as asset in South Korea, 24,000 North Korean refugees here in South Korea. Well, and, uh, you know, there are 2,000 uh, college students now uh, studying in, in major uh, uh, campuses. And they have their relatives and friends in North Korea. And they uh, are, are, are uh, uh, contributing to, to get access to the international community by sending or providing material, like uh, cash or information. information or whatever. And therefore, uh, according to some um, data, uh, the recent uh, refugees from North Korea to South Korea are relatives or family members. They are paying to, to get them out of North Korea. And those uh, uh, the people, town people, realize some uh, family members had gone to, to South Korea and they lived oh, quite well. And therefore, I think that it, their uh, uh, ideas or their loyalty or legitimacy stuff has been changed. I think it's very important. They thought that well, uh, without uh, running the, the philosophy or the uh, self-reliance uh, ideology, they uh, felt that Kim Il-sung created, and he's a great leader, and Kim Jong-il uh, could maintain or to, to protect them uh, from outside uh, aggression. However, uh, but uh, the situation in South Korea, and those uh, living in South Korea, from North Korea, they, uh, well, it, it took time for them to adjust to the South Korean competitive society, but they, they, well, we had uh, national assemblymen, and the doctors and uh, and professors and uh, some some entertainers and they they are just saying that well they are refugees north korean defectors but uh, they feel uh, quite comfortable and it's kind of message for the family members or close friends in north korea that they had to have a, a different uh, uh, idea or different royalty uh, and I think that, that it will take time, but I, I think it's slowly, but I think it's following what uh, East Germans had uh, uh, in mind uh, prior to the uh, massive demonstration. But in the meantime, the North Koreans are just moving ahead, uh, able to develop their nuclear capability without any constraints at all. Well, I think we, we need to manage, we need to manage, slow down by uh, I, I think uh, the dialogue is important in, in that sense. Well, of course, I, I met a uh, North Korean uh, uh, diplomat in, in Stockholm mm -hmm. uh, right after the uh, North Korean announcement to, to, to shoot uh, their uh, peaceful <laughs> or scientific uh, uh, long-range world satellite. And uh, I, I think uh, they feel that uh, they need to get some uh, some some changes in dealing with the international community but the system itself is still uh, too rigid uh, there is no room for them to to make a, a fundamental changes but they realize uh, that uh, the older people not just south koreans or the americans but the, the european peoples or sometimes the chinese are telling them outside north korea that uh, it is uh, good for North Korea and North Koreans to, to look uh, beyond the current situation, mm -hmm. to uh, stick to possessing nuclear weapons to protect, uh, to maintain their system. Well, look at the, the Chinese models and the Vietnamese models, and even uh, the, uh, the e former Eastern, uh, 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 East Germans. Okay, we'll leave it there. Professor Yu, thanks very much for joining us.